hello welcome back to my channel today I am making a very special dish it's called black pudding and sauce and I'm gonna give you step by step exactly how exactly how black pudding and sauce is made but before I do that I want to ask that you please go be look below and you'll see that little red button that says subscribe if you can click on that button it would be really great because it allows me to continue to bring videos to you and it allows you to be able to see my video first as soon as I put it up so welcome back now let me talk about black pudding sauce that I'm about to make and give you a little bit of history about um, black pudding sauce black pudding sauce is a Bajan dish that is made on Saturday it is a dish that goes back generations I mean when people back in slavery when they were handed down the leftover of the pig which was the head and the feet they made something with it so they made something which is black pudding the cells they took the head of the pig and they took parts of meat different parts of the meat for the pig and they made the pickle it and made cells and they take the feet and they also pickle that and now they and then they took some potatoes that they got from the ground and they made something called black pudding black pudding years ago was made with the casing of the stomach of the pig and um, it also had like the pig blood today people don't use that anymore that was years ago so let me show you exactly how this is done but before I start I want to show you the ingredients that is gonna go into the black pudding so let's look here so first I have my sweet potatoes right here. This sweet potato have to be grated. It have to be peeled and it have to be grated. And in that sweet potato is gonna um, is gonna have some onions and some scallions and it would also have some seasonings, some different seasonings which I will show you as I do it and um, some pepper. This goes into this sweet potato so I'll show you how that is done this is the pork that I'm gonna pickled right here I have this is pig feet I didn't want it I had it cut up small so you'll see that and this is just some um, stew pork that I have cut up so I will show you how that is gonna be done I'll probably use half of this because this is a lot to make the pickle is going to be lots of um, lemons or limes, whichever you prefer. Cucumbers, which I have a whole set of cucumbers here. Parsley, and of course, onion goes into that as well, and some pepper. So I'm going to get started on this. And the first thing I'm going to start with is I will start to peel my potatoes and grate my potatoes and anyway so that's my potato all grated now I'm gonna measure that in a little while and tell you exactly how much that is but I grated that now I'm gonna set that aside and I'm gonna show you the next process so I finished grating my potatoes and I measured this potatoes potatoes and it is um, four cups which is two pounds so I'm using two pounds of potato and in here I have, I just wash um, an onion, some scallion, a piece of um, thyme, and a piece of pepper. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna put this in a blender and blend it up. Now, let's get started by putting our ingredients together with our potatoes. So first I'm gonna do, I have a glass of water here. I'm gonna pour some water, kinda get all this potato off my grater because we need to use a little water, not too much water in there. This is one glass of water. Here is some onions, some scallions, some thyme and some pepper. I'm gonna add this to that. I have some black pepper here. I'm just gonna sprinkle on some black pepper. This is um, ground clove I'm gonna add some ground clove I'm gonna use about an eighth of a teaspoon of clove because you don't want to add too much clove because clove is has a very strong flavor and you don't want it to overpower what you're doing 
So I'm just going to use about an eighth a clove. And that's it. I'm not going to use any more of that because it, is, it has a strong taste. And then you mix your ingredients together. Let me add it this way make sure it doesn't. Now we're going to add some sugar. So I have my measuring cup here and I'm going to measure out. It takes a lot of sugar. This is brown sugar. So I'm going to add about one cup of brown sugar to that. Mix it up. Brown in. Because I said earlier, one thing that or people used to use years ago was a pig's blood. And the pig's blood used to give it a dark color. People don't use pig blood anymore. That was years ago back in those days. So today they use coloring, bronging. This is bronging that also gives it the dark color. So we want the dark color here. So I'm going to use some of my bronging. Now you have to be careful and don't use too much of this. Otherwise it's going to be too dark. I don't want it too dark. I want like a caramel color. See that color? It's like caramel. That's the color that you want. That's the right color there. And just mix it up to make sure your sugar and everything that you put in there blend up. All right, I put some more salt. Let me taste it again now. Good. That's what it was missing. Salt. Tastes much better now much better all right now let me start to get this now um i'm gonna bake this in the oven potatoes are all finished so what i'm gonna do i have a pan here that i greased so i'm gonna put this in here i greased that with butter and i'm gonna put this in here now this is all done and I am going to cover it with some foil and I have my un my um, oven set at 350 so I'm gonna put this in the oven and let it stay in there and just cook let it bake at 350 until all the inside you can check it and make sure that the inside is cooked and you would tell it's cooked because it's gonna turn to a brownish color and you can see the difference so let me put this in the oven in the island we usually clean our meat with lemon or lime and um, salt and you take some salt and you just put salt all over it and mix it all up together and then let it sit for a few minutes so I just added my uh, meat to the hot water here here and you don't need to cut up your onion too small you can cut your onion like that I just need the onion to flavor the water right so I just drop that in there some thyme in the water I'm just gonna add the garlic to maybe just cut the garlic in half just add the garlic to the water just like that salt our purpose seasoning here to get it open and I'm just gonna leave this here to cook okay guys so while the meat is boiling I am going to start preparing the, the um, pickle that this is going to go inside of so you'll see. So here I have my cucumbers, I have three, five cucumbers and I have a whole bunch of parsley. So what I'm going to do is I'm um, first I'm going to peel these cucumbers and then I'm going um, to, I'll show you how I'm going to cut this up and then I'll cut the parsley up and I have my onion and my lemon we're preparing our pickle now in here is my cucumbers as i said i have five cucumbers i have an onion some tomato some um 
lemons and some pepper and scallions these are all washed and ready to be cut up so this is how you're gonna cut up your cucumber to pickle it you're gonna go like this because you want to cut it up small you go you just chop it up like that first and then you and then this is the texture this is um, the size that you're gonna cut it up so you pretty easy just make sure you don't cut yourself so you put this is another way that you can do your cucumber you take your grater now you're gonna use this side of the grater if you have one of these graters you'll use this side of the grater and you'll just grater it like that so I don't know which but here is my five cucumbers that is already chopped up so now to that I'm gonna add my onion so okay so I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna add it to my cucumber now the next thing I'm gonna add here is my pepper so just put that in there Now the next thing I'm going to put in there is my lemons and I have my strainer here. I'm going to put this over here so that I don't have to hold my fingers to get the seeds. And then, of course I'm going to need more lemons than that, but I'm just going to stop. And then here goes my salt um i'm not going to measure this i'm just going to sprinkle this in but i would advise you to sprinkle just a little bit at a time and then, okay see it's starting to look good i'm gonna cut a parsley up very small cut this up like really small okay I think this is about good here so now this is what I'll do now I take my parsley and I put it in there here yeah, squeeze the juices up then I'm gonna cut Taste this and see if I need more lemon. So I have a little bit here. I'll put a little bit in my hand. Taste it. Okay, I can taste the lemon. I need I still need maybe like one more lemon and some more salt. Salt in here. So I can tell you like a cup of salt, I mean like a, a tablespoon of salt or a quarter of salt or a for salt because you have to taste it that's why I said put a little bit in taste it if it feels, if it tastes like it want more salt to you then add some more salt to it and okay, it depends on how much you're making so this needs some more lemon so I'm gonna add another lemon and this would have made six lemons that I added to that and this is six six cucumbers in there and this is six lemons and this is my pickle so what I, what happens now is once the pig feet and the meat is finished cooking I'm gonna let that cool and once it is cool I'm gonna cut it up small and add it to this and let it kind of take on the flavor of this so I'm gonna taste it one more time to make sure that it's good it's good it's good. So I'm gonna let it sit for a few minutes. As the Opie will tell you, I'm gonna let it sit and draw. That's what it says, let it sit and dry. And then when you put the meat, and you may even have to add a little more lemon or a little more salt, depends. But I'm gonna set this aside, and I'm gonna go now and check the meat and see if the meat is cooked, and the potatoes. So everything kind of finish around the same time. So let's check our meat. Okay guys, the meat is tender. You see, the um, fork just went right through it. 
Meat has finished cooking. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to turn off the stove. And I'm going to leave this now for a while because that have to cool. Oh, and see how that's doing in the oven. Ooh, it looks good. That's how it's supposed to be, guys. So let's check. The top may be cooked, but the bottom may not be cooked. So let's check the bottom. So guys, the potato is cooked. It is done. Because you, you don't want it to dry out. So it is good. It looks good. It's done. Yeah, it's done. And I'm just going to let it sit for a few minutes and, until it's cool because it's a little hot. You don't want to put it in into your pickle when it's hot. You got to let it cool first. So I'm going to let it sit for a few minutes and cool. And once it is cool, I will put it with my pickle and then I'll come back and show you the end process. Close to the end. So this is what we're going to do now. We're going to take our meat that we have and we're just going to drop it in here in the pickle. We're just going to drop it in there. Any big pieces you can cut up. But this is the pig feet which is already cut up. So I'm just going to drop that in there. And the meat is nice and soft. I don't need that bone. I have my meat in here. So now I have to combine everything together. You're going to combine your meat. This is the sauce. I made the sauce. So if you are a Bajan or you are a Caribbean and you want to know how to make black pudding and sauce, you've, ever, you've heard of it but you have no idea how to make it, this is how you make it guys. And those people in the islands that make this every day, they have a process that they do. Because this takes a, a while, but I guess they've been doing it for years. So, you know, they can do it like one, two, three, and they do it quickly. But, it, they, you know, this is not something that I would make every Saturday because it's a lot of work. But it is worth it. If you do it every once in a while, it's worth it. And if you have someone in the community that makes it on Saturday, put in your order early. Go get it. I'm just going to go ahead and taste it again just to make sure I don't have to add anything else to it to make sure that it is tasting just right. It looks good, but <laughs> let me just taste it just to make sure. It don't need a thing. It don't need a thing. It tastes good. So now I'm going to put it on. Oh, and I have something else to show you guys. All right, I didn't show you this. This is a uh, breadfruit. I had done a breadfruit in a previous video, and um, you saw how I what a breadfruit looks like. But this is a breadfruit, and I cooked this breadfruit. So what happened is people also serve a piece of breadfruit next to your black pudding and sauce. Okay, so I'll be serving this. It's already cooked. It's already cooked. It's nice and moist, and it smells good. So all three of these go together as one day. So this is your black pudding. And you see the color of it is black, is black. And this is your sauce. And this is your breadfruit. So this is black pudding and sauce. And this, so let me show you how this is served up. So I have a dish right here. And I have my ice cream scoop. So what I'm gonna do Just scoop this out. So of course I made this so I have to share this so my brother-in-law, my sister-in-law, um, because this is not something they get very often so this is something I got to take for them. I think this is usually my favorite part of pudding. Okay. So that's the pudding right there. Over here, let me get a fork. I will take some of the breadfruit and I will put it at the side like that. A few pieces. Like that. And then I'm going to take my sauce over here right here at the side and 
and a couple small pieces of the meat. And then take some of the liquid, because you need a liquid in there. And put some of the liquid in here, because you need to eat both together. Here we have it. Black pudding and sauce. Black pudding and sauce. You see how I made it, guys? I tried to do it step by step that each of you could follow. The directions I will put a link below and um, so that you can look at the ingredients that I put in here and know exactly how to do it and you can do it yourself it takes a little while but you're home you can afford to do it and make your own black pudding and sauce okay thank you so much for joining me this was a lot of fun guys give it a try um, you you may end up doing really good but you're not going to know unless you try it. So all you Bajans who have never tried it, go every Saturday and spend $20 for it. Take the $20 and go buy the ingredients and just try making it yourself for your whole family. Okay? Thank you so much for joining me. Please do not forget to subscribe. That little button below, just press that button. It helps me to continue to bring videos. And um, every time I put a video up, you are the first to see my videos. Until next time, bye-bye.